Hey, Phil White here from the University of Wyoming Libraries. This video, I'm going to show you two things on the U.S. Census website. First, we're going to take a look at quick facts where you can look up statistics and demographics on your community. Then I'm going to show you a more advanced tool called the American Fact Finder, where you can look up and download large data sets for any community in the United States. So with that, I've got my coffee ready, so let's get started. Okay, so to start off, we're just going to head over to the U.S. Census website, www.census.gov. And once you get here, you'll see a menu across the top, Quick Facts, can be found right here in the center of the page, and it's really easy to use. All you have to do is uh, click here, you can type something in, or you can select a state, I'm just going to scroll down and choose Wyoming. And you'll be taken to a page that has some general statistics for Wyoming. For example, population. You'll see our current estimated population of 586,000. Uh, age and sex of the population. Ethnicity. Things like housing. Um, educational attainment. Health. Even some economic um, poverty data in here and business information as well. Uh, really useful if you need to add some quick stats into a paper or project or something like that. What else you can do is add another variable in for a different location. So this time I'm going to type in Cheyenne and you'll see Cheyenne classified here as Cheyenne City, Wyoming. Click on that you'll add that in so you can have a nice comparison tool. You can do the same uh, quite a few times here and add in another one. If you want to look at how Laramie and Cheyenne compare to uh, the state as a whole and to each other. So this is a handy little tool on Quick Facts. Now the other thing you can do on Quick Facts is download this into a table. If you click the download button you'll have the option to email this to yourself you can embed it in a website, this whole table if you want. You can get a CSV, open up in Excel, or if you just click the download link here, you'll get it in an Excel sheet that basically looks like this, and it will have the same format as the table that we just looked at. Okay, now I want to show you the American Fact Finder. So back up to my browser bar, I'm just going to type in factfinder.census.gov. And you arrive on the Fact Finder page, and the nice thing about Fact Finder is that it gives you um, the data that kind of uh, is used to formulate all those quick facts that we found on the regular census page. So we have much more, uh, much larger breadth of data here. And I'm going to show you Community Facts tool and the Advanced Search. So for Community Facts, I'm just going to start kind of similar to Quick Facts and just type in Denver and choose Denver City, Colorado, and click Go. So you're taken to this page that has some more of this snapshot style information um, with some differences though. So we have some menu options over here on the left where we can kind of dive in a little bit further. We want to take a look at say education in Denver and the difference here between Quick Facts and, and Fact Finder is that we have these links presented to us that we can click through to and get to the actual data tables. Okay. And here, if we take a look at this page, um, we have much finer detailed information. For example, broken down by age, um, educational attainment by age, by poverty, by earnings, things like that that really let you dive in a little bit deeper. Okay? Let's take a look at the advanced search feature now. If you click advanced search, then show me all, you'll be taken to this page where you're presented with some options. If you want to go this way, you can type in a topic such as income or something like that and then type in a location and click go. What I actually recommend is that you use some of these search filters first. I like to do geographies and then topics. So if I click geography, what we see here are some choices and this is really useful because it allows you to pull from multiple geographies at the same time. For example, if you want to look at every county within a state and pull them all at one time, you can do that here. So I'll just click county and choose a state. 
Colorado will do. And then you can select counties that you want. You can choose one. You can hold down the control key and select uh, several of you want. Or you can just select all counties within the state and add that to your selections. You can do the same for census tracts in a county or a city or something like that. Next I'll choose my topic and I'm going to go to people and education and choose educational attainment. Close that out and now what we have here is a list of results that are limited to these search filters that are now located in your search selection box. I'm going to choose the first one here. It's educational attainment for uh, 2014 based on the past five years. You might also want to take a look at some of the other results to um, uh, look at past years. And when you open that up, uh, you see you get lots of data and you get all of the data points that the census um, records and what we're looking at here is the first three counties there are many more pages of this so uh, the best way to go about it at this point is to just download this into Excel or a statistical package uh, so you can start doing some analyses so to do that you click download and I recommend downloading this in CSV format uh, I do not recommend the presentation ready formats you could do that in Excel um, or PDF, but what it gives you is a formatted uh, table like you might see in a report or something um, with lots of empty rows and it doesn't cooperate with a statistical package or to try to try to do some analyses. So I recommend a comma delimited file. Um, I also recommend including the descriptive data element names and I'll show you why. I've already downloaded this and I will open it up. This is the descriptive element row. And without it, uh, all you have are these headers that are just codes that don't really mean anything. So as you're looking through your data, you really need to have these descriptive header names. And when, if you're going to like take this into GIS or a statistical package, I would recommend getting rid of the top row and keeping the, the element names as the header. So this is the data you get. Um, depending on what you get, you're going to get a lot. Um, here we have mm, probably a couple hundred rows of data um, that you can sort through. But this is really the best way to, to get all your data in one place from the, from the census. And that's the end of my video. So if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at pwhite9 at uio.edu. And I will be doing another video in the near future on a tool the library subscribes to called Social Explorer, which is another useful tool for extracting census data. So that's all for now. Take care and see you next time.